वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर रचना भटेरिया असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल साइंसिस महर्षि दयानंद यूनिवर्सिटी रोहतक इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मिनरलॉजी मिनरल्स एंड टाइप्स अंडर द पेपर एनवायरमेंटल जियोलॉजी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द गिवन मॉड्यूल आर फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द मिनरलॉजी एंड मिनरल्स सेकेंड वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मिनरल्स and third the classification of minerals let's come to the introduction first have a glance about the various definitions which are involved in mineralogy mineralogy is the branch of science which deals with the physico chemical study of naturally occurring solid and crystalline materials mineral it is a homogeneous naturally occurring solid substance formed by inorganic processes having a definite chemical composition with an ordered atomic arrangement The most commonly found minerals contain universal elements like silicon and oxygen which contributes about 70% of continental crust. Minerals which contain both silicon and oxygen are known as silicates. The mineral from different parts of the world have same crystal form and chemical formula. An economic concentration of reserves of metallic minerals in a rock is known as ore. Non-economic mineral like quartz feldspar and calcite which are found in association with ore minerals are known as gang and are considered waste minerals and elements formed in earth's crust can be recycled through various rocks in their life span now let's see the composition of minerals elements are the building blocks of minerals geochemical factors such as element abundance solid solution limits mineral stability place a limit on composition and stability of naturally occurring compounds hence there are relatively less number of minerals according to the composition variation of minerals ranges from pure elements such as iron gold silver with relatively simple compounds example galena and sylvite to a very complex compound example stinstrupine now let's see the internal structure of minerals ions are arranged in crystal structures according to their relative sizes this is referred to as closest packing silicates are compounds where silicon and oxygen are abundant and are major mineral components of the earth's crust and mantle variety of silicate minerals are produced by the silicon tetrahedron linking to self similar units sharing one two three or all four corners oxygens of tetrahedron quartz and feldspar are some among the most common framework silicates with ratio of silicon to oxygen is 1 is to 2 the given slide shows the properties of minerals which includes taste specific gravity habit diffinity tenacity fracture odor streak crystalline structure hardness magnetism and color Let's see few of the properties in detail. Number one is luster. Luster refers to the general appearance of mineral surface in reflected light. Mineral luster can be metallic or non-metallic. Minerals with metallic luster are usually opaque and have a colored streak. Non-metallic luster can be vitreous, resinous, pearly, greasy, silky, and adamantine. The mineral is metallic when it is opaque. and reflects as metals would alternatively it is non metallic when mineral does not reflect light second property is color and streak color shows the property of reflectance metallic minerals can be yellow white or gray in color the silicate minerals are opaque or strongly colored because transition metal shells with unfilled electrons are present in them example vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel and copper streak refers to the color of a mineral's powdered form left behind after it is scraped or rubbed across a porcelain streak plate next property is crystal form crystal form can be isometric tetragonal orthorhombic hexagonal monoclinic or triclinic Crystal form is the external expression of internal ordered arrangement of atoms. During mineral formation, individual crystals develop well-formed crystal faces that are specific to that mineral. They reflect the internal symmetry of crystal structure that makes the mineral unique. 
Next property is cleavage, fracture and parting. Cleavage is the property of mineral to break along planes where bond strength is low in the chemical bond. In most of the crystal, strength of bonding in all direction is not equal which will liable to crack along crystallographic directions representing a fractured property by reflecting the fundamental structure which can be analytical. When a fracture is irregular and flourishes as a single surface resulting into a shiny surface as in glass are said to be conchoidal but when it reflects to an uneven coarse surface then it is heckly. Next property is tenacity. Tenacity is the tendency of a mineral to deform plastically under stress. Mineral may be brittle and can be fractured under stress as silicates and oxides. Next property is the specific gravity. It is defined as physical property which is calculated in grams per centimeter cube. It can be measured by the measurement of volume with displacement of water in a graduated cylinder and the mass. Next is hardness. Frederick Mose in 1812 developed a standard scale for calculating the extent of hardness. On the basis of the relative hardness, the minerals are ranked from 1 to 10. Softer minerals are scratched by harder minerals. For instance, a mineral having hardness of 6.5 can scratch feldspar but not quartz. Now let's see the minerals present in the environment. They can be the magmatic deposits, metamorphic rock minerals, sedimentary mineral deposits, hydrothermal mineral depo deposits. Let's take them individually. Number one is magmatic deposits. Mag magmatic deposits can be formed during rock formation when mineral concentrate in association with magma and water. They should have high melting point so that they can coexist and get crystallized from silicate melts at temperature above 800 degrees Celsius. They can be classified on the basis of their silica content. Rocks with low silica content less than 50% of silicate are termed as basic or mafic while high silica rocks are termed silicic or acidic. These rocks are dark colored due to presence of abundant amount of iron, granites, grandiorites and rhyolites are included in silicic igneous rocks and rich minerals like quartz, muscovite and alkali feldspar. Next is metamorphic rock minerals. Metamorphic processes occur to make adjustments between chemical potential of any system and the changes in temperature and pressure. Metamorphism involves both chemical and mechanical changes but in varying proportions. Metamorphic minerals and rock provide many valuable resources, marble and slate, the two most widely used. Metamorphic rocks are formed when the precursor materials, example igneous sediments, etc., are buried deeply and are consequently brought into the environment of high pressure and temperature. Next is sedimentary mineral deposits. The formation of sedimentary rocks is accompanied by three main processes. The first process is the weathering, which produces the materials that a sedimentary rock is composed of by mechanical and chemical minerals, formation of new minerals, interaction between atmosphere, hydrosphere and earth's surface rocks. The second process is the transport which moves these materials to their final destination. Rivers are main transporting agent of materials to the oceans, sometimes glaciers which are important. During transport, the sediment particles will sorted according to the size and density example gold placers and will round it by abrasion. The third process is the deposition of sediment which occurs at a site with specific combination of physical, chemical and biological conditions that is the sedimentary environment. Next category is the hydro hydrothermal mineral deposits. Hydrothermal mineral deposit is the fourth major mineral environment. They may be classified as high temperature hydrothermal low temperature hydrothermal and oxidized hydrothermal. Silver, tungstate, minerals, tellurides, chalcopite, gold, bomite and molybdenite are all high temperature hydrothermal minerals and the hydrothermal minerals with low temperature include pyrite, barite, cinnabar, gold and cassiterite. Now let's see the definition of min classification of minerals. 
minerals can be classified into sulfides sulfates silicates oxides native elements carbonates and halides first let's see sulfides sulfides are mineral composed of one or more metal cations combined with sulfur many sulfides are economically important ores pyrite or fool's gold galena cinnabar and molybdenite are few commonly occurring sulfide minerals next is sulfates sulfates are minerals that include sulfur dioxide uh, sulfate anionic groups combined with alkali earth and metal cations and hydrous and hydrous are the two major groups of sulfates barite is an example of anhydrous sulfate and gypsum is an example of sulfate next category is silicates silicates consist of a silicon atom surrounded by four atoms of oxygen forming a silicon oxygen tetrahedron the two major groups of silicates includes ferromag ferromagnesium silicates and non ferro ferro uh, ferromagnesium silicates ferromagnesium silicates consist of an iron or magnesium ions attached to the silicate structure they are comparatively dark and have high specific gravity than non ferromagnesium silicate minerals ferromagnesium include minerals such as olivine pyrazine hornblende and biotite non ferromagnesium include muscovite feldspar and quartz next category is oxides oxides are minerals that include one or more metal cations bonded to oxygen or hydroxyl anions example are hematite magnetite corundum and ice next category is the native elements native elements are minerals which consist of a single element example gold silver copper iron diamonds graphite and platinum next is carbo carbonates carbonates are anionic groups of carbon and oxygen carbonate minerals results from bonds between these complexes and alkali earth and some transition metals common carbonate minerals include calcite calcium carbonate dolom and dolomite calcium magnesium carbonate next is halides halides consist of halogen elements chlorine bromine fluorine and iodine forming strong ionic bonds with alkali and alkali earth elements such as sodium calcium and potassium examples includes halite and fluorite now let's see the uses of some of the common minerals minerals have application in various fields first is the industrial use limestone is used as crushed stone in road construction and other constructions for ballast in rail cars for manufacture of cement as a filter to absorb sulfate emissions at coal plants to adjust ph in soil and in animal feeds gypsum is used in wall board and plaster products it is also used to make portland cement and has some agriculture applications a small amount of pure gypsum is used in glass making also next use of mineral is as abrasives quartz sand is hard enough for woodworking diamond paste is available in many grades for sharpening hand tools diamond is best suited for cutting and grinding tools however drilling industry uses lots of diamond for drill bits next application of mineral is in as ceramics the important geological sources for silica suitable for ceramic industry are pegmatites with well developed crystals of quartz vein quartz and sandstones of high siliceous nature high silica sands and orthoquartzites feldspars are used as fluxing material in the preparation of ceramic bodies enamels and glazes next next application of mineral is a, is in electrical field example is coltan is a metallic ore composed of niobium and tantalum it is used in computers cell phones video games consoles gps video cameras and other micro electrical circuits gold has many practical uses in electronics due to its high malleability ductility and resistant to corrosion this module will able the students to recognize various minerals which are common while encountering ores and rocks the uh, the understanding of this module will also help the students to classify various minerals and 
study about the various pedogenesis of the mineralogy. Thank you.